So Fridays are now dedicated to your success stories and I'm going to be sharing success stories of either myself, my own personal manifestations, that of my clients as well, or even those of you who just simply watch the content, follow the instructions that I give, the teachings that I put out there, put it to the test and a few of you have very kindly come back to me as well and have achieved successes, have shared with me your success stories based on simply watching the content alone. So whether you're a client of mine or whether you're someone who just watches the content and who's gaining success putting this to the test then please do submit your success stories to me because Fridays are going to be dedicated to you guys I've decided because I'm going to have to post out more than once a week now I'm trying to get organized and at least this way Fridays are going to be dedicated to feeling good to sharing how other people did it and perhaps this is going to help those of you who are going through similar circumstances be it your SP journeys or your perfect person journeys or whether you're manifesting health wealth career change whatever it might be do feel free to share it I've got some incredible success stories to share with you I'm truly excited today's one is uh, coming from a client of mine um, who coached with me a while back I'm really sorry first of all she was apologizing because it took her a while to get back to me but also it's taken me a while to get this posted so I'm going to dedicate Fridays to successes join me here on this feel good Friday those of you who know who I am welcome back to my channel those of you who don't I'm Athena Raven I'm a mental health and manifestation life coach here to empower and inspire you on your manifestation journey so if you're enjoying the content please do help this channel out by liking and subscribing click that bell uh, bell icon <laughs> if I can talk that bell icon as well so you never miss a beat. I'm always here posting up new content and hopefully from now on Mondays and Fridays are going to be dedicated to posting out content to help you on your specific journey. So let's start with this particular client success story. She turned things around in a miraculously speedy time although she'd been on the journey for a little while um, it took for us to have one session and I believe we utilized in particular to her case a sort of cognitive behavioral style approach because for her the one thing that was really getting in the way of her experiencing her end result and it's the same for a lot of us are assumptions that she couldn't wholeheartedly shift her assumptions because she was too tethered to the old experiences and to the current circumstances and to the meanings that she had attached to those current um, current circumstances that seemed so factual that seemed so solid to her the fact that he was not interested in pursuing a relationship the fact that anytime she had any sort of run-in with him he didn't seem to want to dedicate and so the fact that anytime she had tried before it was met with all sorts of resistance as I had to turn her attention and focus away from all of that and give her the alternative perspectives which she was not able to see and to embody on her own because of course let's face it <clears throat> you're only ever going to see and experience life from the assumptions, from the state that you occupy, from those beliefs. And so it might take a little bit more of a persuasion and sometimes going into an imaginal act might not be enough for some of us. And I know certainly in her case it wasn't. And so we needed to turn that around, turn some of those limiting beliefs around. And it was incredible because it meant that she could truly feel out those um, sensations, that experience that she was having in imagination and to accept that without being triggered by 3D circumstance. And she, tur she turned things around so, so quickly. So she's not gone into too much detail because I know she was very, very anxious about her privacy. Um, so of course I respect that for clients of mine with SP stories. Um, but I'll share with you what she has emailed me here. So sit back and enjoy. Um, so her email starts off, Dear Athena, I hope you are well. I cannot thank you enough with all you have taught me in such a short time. SP and I are now completely committed in our relationship. As you know, my SP and I separated in March 2023. He decided it was best to part ways due to many reasons. I was devastated and I had a hard time coming to terms with it. A few days after the breakup, one of my good friends introduced me to LOA. Um, I began applying mostly affirmations to my everyday life. I saw a few minor changes. One of them was that I bumped into my SP on several occasions. The times I did run into him, he seemed very neutral and he did not seem interested in getting back together. I, of course, still loved him and I wanted to be with him, but we, but we continued to stay in no contact. I was determined to have him back. I was, I was determined to have him come back to me without begging or trying to convince him to come back. That is where the law of assumption really helped me. 
There were so many uh, there were so many synchronicities that occurred in the next few months. I would cross paths with my SP in very odd places, places that we never expected to see each other. I even found myself right next to him on an extremely busy highway during rush hour. It was around the month of September where I found your YouTube channel. I was very intrigued with your method and your sincere approach. I started following your channel. I began using your techniques. I used my imagination any time I had the opportunity, any moment I could work, I could. At work, driving, during my long walks in the park, before bed, and of course upon waking. I stuck to it as much as I could. I replaced the affirmations with imaginal acts as much as possible. In the month of October, I had the amazing opportunity to meet with you. Your approach opened my eyes to the practicality of using my imagination and in living in the end. I decided to go all in and play a particular imaginal scene over and over in my mind, just as we had spoken of. Well, it didn't take long for a major movement to happen. Only a few days later, my SP called me whilst he was driving by my work. He said he wanted to see me later that night so that we could talk. That night, we got together and ended up talking for hours. He was kind and affectionate, and although we did not talk about our relationship too much that night, I felt a huge shift between the two of us. Two days later, he texted me, telling me he had a wonderful time and he wanted to see me again. We, we met up later on that night, and it was only then that he confirmed everything I wanted to hear. He told me he never stopped loving me. I am the love of his life and he wants to spend the rest of his life with me. He is everything exactly as I had imagined. Your technique worked so well and so fast for me. The vision I played over and over in my imagination eventually became my reality. We have been inseparable ever since and he has been the absolute best version of himself that I have ever seen to this day. All of the things I had doubted about him before no longer exist and we have the best communication ever. Once again, I cannot thank you enough for opening up this beautiful new way of living. You taught me that my imagination is so powerful in creating whatever we want or desire in our lifetime. There are truly no limits. And that's where she ends it. So it was pretty short. And like I said, she didn't go into too much detail to protect her privacy. But I did sort of bring up her notes, um, our session notes. I'm always taking notes during session just to see what else we had worked on. And like I say, the main thing was the limiting beliefs that she had. And then we went over an imaginal act with her. And I can't recall. I might have. And I don't know, hon, if you're watching this. Maybe you can confirm, but I understand if not for privacy reasons. But I think that we did, according to this, an imaginal scene together. And perhaps I helped you through uh, hypnosis as well to really delve into that imaginal act. Because the whole purpose of the imaginal act, of course, is to gift ourselves the experience that we want to experience in our 3D reality. We go there in consciousness first. We become aware of that reality first up and that version of our SP, that's what we wish to experience, that version of them that's ready for commitment, that's great in communication, that makes us feel safe and secure. Because before, she would be affirming it. And I suppose affirming these little little things out of lack brings very inconsistent results for a lot of us, especially if we're affirming from a place of anxiety and trying to change the 3D circumstances. This is why affirmations are non-effective for a lot of people who try and put them to use and feel that constant repetition is going to change things. They're doing it usually with the intention to change the outside world. Whereas when we can just shut off our imagination, well, if we, our senses, I should say, not imagination, that's the last thing you want to shut off. Um, but if we could shut off our senses to what's going on on the outside, don't be a slave to your organs, your human organs, but go within to your higher self, connect with your higher self and connect in consciousness, become aware of that reality, that experience that you really want to connect with, that version of your SP you want to connect with. Step in to the version of you that has that desire, that has that committed relationship. It's a very different feeling. It's a very different um, sensation and experience to what you're experiencing now in your 3D circumstances, the experiences that are making you believe that your SP doesn't want to commit to you, that you're just going to keep bumping into them, that they're still being neutral or they're still being off or that maybe they're being hot and cold. 
<clears throat> because we had done that challenge work as well, like I say, she wasn't so tethered to the current circumstances and the past experiences she was having. That helped her to really embody that imaginal act even more with no holes barred, with no limitations, with none of the ego mind getting in the way because we changed and challenged those beliefs of the ego mind. And the rest, as they say, is history. She's been enjoying herself so much. It took her a long time to get back to me with this success story. But I appreciate you, hun, if you're watching this. Thank you for sharing your experience. I hope that this was inspirational and motivational for you guys. And like I said, I'm going to dedicate Fridays now to your successes, be it if you've coached with me or if you've not coached with me and you just watch the content, it's all relevant. And I'm going to share from my own uh, successes too. And um, from that of Neville Goddard's uh, stories as well and um, Genevieve Behrens and a few others as well. So success Fridays. I haven't actually come up with terms as to what to call this. Feel good Fridays. <laughs> <laughs> but hopefully it made you feel good thank you for joining me and i'll see you in the next video all the best to you